Hi everyone, how are you today? I'm Liliana Amaro, Children Sleep Coach, and welcome to one more session of Learning to Sleep. This very controversial topic about my child wants milk many times during the night, and I wonder if any of the mothers that are watching this video that can put the hand up. Uh, first of all, I will be one of them. Um, I had a child that was asking for multiple times at night time uh, that she wanted milk. Uh, I I have, this is my story, I'm going to confess. I used to give my child about seven to eight bottles of milk per night. Um, I thought that was okay, I didn't know any different. So I was waking up several times. Uh, every time I wake up, I will make a bottle for my daughter. I will give it to her, let her sleep, and then just um, continue, go back to sleep, go to my bed, come back. I used to have them all um, ready in the bench. If any of you have followed my Instagram or my um, Facebook, you can see that there is posts about that kind of um, my, my history. Like I have uh, different tricks. I, I, pub I make it public sometimes and I put pictures. I, I don't know why I have a picture of that, but yeah. There is, there is me preparing many bottles. I used to leave them lined up on the bench so I can quickly get up, go to the kitchen, and then warm up the water, prepare the, because by that time I had my uh, child in formula. It was, uh, my daughter was about one year and, and three months, uh, four months. I breastfed her until she was one year. And anyway, that was what I was doing. I thought that's what she wanted and that's the only way I was uh, making her to sleep. So many times um, when the mothers contact me, they always say that um, they wake up several times during the night and what they do is give the bottle to their child or give the breast. I have, um, I have had mothers, this is the most critical case that I ever um, talk about is about a, a two and a half year old child that wakes up around four to five times to um, to have um, breast of the mother and this comes with other uh, situations and other scenarios is whether the mom brings the child to the bed because that's where the she breastfeed whether the mom goes and confuses the the child uh, but most of the cases is is what happened is the mother gives the breast freely to the child and the child is happy to take it at any time. Sometimes uh, the child becomes the boss of the, the breast of the mother, like whenever he wants, he goes, have access and falls asleep again. So that's the scenarios I've been treating. But what happened here? Well, pretty much what happens here is that we, we fall into a habit. We fall into the habit of giving this milk because we believe that's the way they're going to go back to sleep but if we think about it or our recommendation as a sleep consultant is always to say that after six months a child should be sleeping through the night and if you um, are breastfeeding it's okay but the first um, the first feeds that should disappear are the night times whether it happens sometimes the opposite sometimes the mother are trying to to take away the, the breastfeeding and the first thing that they do is trying to stop during the day because it's easy and they leave the, the night one because it's, it helps the babies or the children to sleep faster. But we need to think about it. If we want to sleep, we need to remove these habits. The more we do it, the more it's going to happen, the more often the child is going to need it. And when, as they grow, as they grow, they start waking up more often as well because this habit gets stronger. And of course, we need to think that every habit um, uh, develops for the time we do it. Like imagine if we have uh, done this for one year and then we continue for another six months. Well, it's one year and six months that our child knows that way uh, during the night and then he continues. There is times in where the children are not hungry anymore, but we believe that they want uh, milk. And this is when pretty much every 
case that I have um, spoken about with uh, uh, the moms is when the, the mom keeps trying to offer the, the breast because that's the way that she's done it for a certain amount of time. She offers the breast and then the child drinks it, sometimes doesn't drink it anymore, sometimes there is drama, takes longer to sleep and then the mom said, well, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm awake, I'm sleep deprived, I'm offering the, the breast, but they not even taking it. What can I do? I'm desperate. So when you get to this point um, in, in, in life, when you, you think your child wants milk multiple times, but he's not really wanted the milk, we need to assess our scenario and decide what we want to do. If there is time for a change, we maybe um, ourselves, um, you need to uh, plan for this change to happen. How are you going to achieve it? When are you going to do it? And one of the key points here, and my main recommendation to all the mothers is always open the communication with your child. No, doesn't matter how old your baby is or your children are, um, always talk to them, explain what is going to happen, explain what you, would you like to do, um, in order to change all this situation, explain that the night is for sleeping and what we want to do is fall asleep because we're tired, we feel tired, we want um, that they uh, start sleeping longer. So let's try to do this in order to, um, to, to make the situation better. Of course, you, some, many, many mothers will say that um, the, the child is not going to understand and therefore they're not going to tell them that. Um, I will say uh, children understand the mothers and uh, you can sense it. Um, one, of, one advice that I got from my sister when I was in that situation was that she, she used to say, talk to your baby, tell her you're tired, tell her she needs to sleep. And uh, yeah, I, I tried to do it, but I, at the same time I was doing that and I was trying to many things. I was very naive in that stage. I was very sleep deprived. Um, and that makes me, or you know, makes everybody not to think completely clearly, not to analyze. I have moms, uh, mothers, of um, fathers that, uh, or families, I will say, that they contact me, and when they're trying to, um, they trying to explain to me what's the situation, they say we're pretty much very tired. We are to the breaking point, and we don't know what to do. So we are just doing whatever we can in order to get some sleep and this is when when you get to this point um, I always call call these kind of situations a tsunami because is when um, you start uh, going back going back to to have a little bit of um, uh, you know uh, the the situation starts getting bigger 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 and then you just see it increasing but that you don't do anything to stop it and then what happens after it's just it's going to break on top of you uh, suddenly, so don't don't let this uh, tsunami effect uh, reaching you. There is there is no such a thing as a hunger during the night when you have fed your baby during the day. When you have a content baby, the babies don't need milk. Of course, there are days um, in where they haven't eaten very well, or days where. Um, for whatever reason they didn't want to eat or they felt sick and stuff like that and perhaps those days a little bit of uh, food during the night is necessary but it's never necessary as as much as seven to four four to seven times that is absolutely crazy i reckon we can make even sick a uh, child <laughs> that is not for making that so my child asked me for milk is a very rare thing especially if they cannot speak if they cannot speak the child is not asking for milk. You are taking that decision of giving the milk and making them wake up. You, that is your own decision and it's not the child's decision. The fact is, because we don't know what to do, that's the resource we're taking to. Remember, there are other ways to do it. Um, sometimes it takes effort to get there and try different things, but it's possible. If you are struggling, if you are in this stage in where you think your child needs to stop drinking milk during the night, contact me. I offer um, free sleep assessment, so you can talk to me free of charge and explain me what's happening. We can get to a, a resolution, perhaps by advice. Um, if your situation is more drastically or you don't really know what to do, we can talk about it, and then we can um, uh, suggest to, to join one of our service, or, uh, services sorry, or follow one of our plans, depends on it. But um, explore your situation. Remember, the night is made for sleep, not for eating or drinking. Um, 
if you have any questions feel free to contact me at any point thank you so much for being here and learning to sleep i'm pretty sure next week we're having another one another session if you have any suggestions for a topic they are always welcome in our page in our comments here uh, grant me an email uh, whatsapp anything you you feel like you can let me know what you uh, you want me to touch and i'm happy you can see this video today see you bye thank you so much